Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 9 and in this video I just want to talk to you guys about functions. So up until now all of the code that we have been writing has consisted of pretty random statements that all just get executed one after the next after the next. But wouldn't it be great if we could group all of the related statements together in a group and then only call them when we need them? Well, my friends, this is what we use functions for. So, for example, let's take a look at a website like YouTube and you can see that at the bottom of the video we've got this play button over here and when I go ahead and click this play button then you can see the video starts playing the counter starts going and uh, the play button has turned into a pause button so all of these statements or all of these things all happened at one click of a button and that is because I obviously called a function that told YouTube okay play the video, change the pause button or the play button um, and you know all that kind of stuff and now when I go ahead and I click it again then I've obviously called that function again and told YouTube okay pause the video change the pause button to a play button stop the counter uh, all of that so that's basically one example of a function on YouTube and another example could be uh, the like button over here and as you can see if I were to click that then obviously what I'm doing is I I tell YouTube to call a function again that obviously adds one to the number of likes so instead of having 24 likes I could have 25 likes so that's basically uh, what functions are used for and no, now that you know why a function is useful let's take a look at how to define a function in JavaScript so back to notepad++ and basically when I say define a function in JavaScript what I really mean is just how to make a function okay so what we have to do is we first start off by telling JavaScript okay JavaScript I want to make a function and to do that you type in the keyword function and now JavaScript knows okay you're trying to make a function and then you go ahead and you give your function a name and you can name it pretty much anything you want so for example I could name this apple pie although I don't really want to uh, it's probably best if you name your function something useful or something that is related to whatever the function has to do so let's make a function that alerts out you are awesome on the screen so I'm gonna name the function make awesome using uh, camel caps like that and after the name of my function what I do is I add in these two parentheses and I'm actually gonna go over what these parentheses mean in the next video but for now just go ahead and include them and uh, you'll learn what they do in the next video and then what we can do is go ahead and add in these two curly braces okay now basically what this first one means is okay my statements are gonna start here and then the second one means that is the end of my function so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit enter twice and inside here that is where all of the statements uh, that I want my function to perform when I call it must go so basically all my code has to go in here code in here and like I said all I want my function to do is alert out something onto the screen so it's going to alert out you are awesome awesome okay cool so let's go ahead and save this and then I'll explain this function one more time okay so what I've done is I've said okay JavaScript I wanna make a function the name of my function is called make awesome 
and right now there are no parameters so you don't even know what these uh, brackets mean over here these parentheses but we're gonna go over that in the next video and then basically when my function is called what do I want to happen I just want to alert out you are awesome on the screen so now that I've made my function all there's left to do is actually call my function because right now this isn't gonna run until I actually say to JavaScript okay you need to run make awesome so what I can do now at the bottom of my code is just go ahead and write make awesome my two parentheses over there and then we end that off with a semicolon and this is basically called calling a function and what that does is it just says okay JavaScript run this function so if we go ahead and uh, run this in Firefox then you can see our program runs and we get this little alert box that pops up that says make you are awesome okay and that was printed out because of this function so that's pretty cool but this means that our function is now running as soon as we open our page but didn't I say that we can call our function whenever we need it well now we can go ahead and combine this with events which is something we learned about in the previous video and if we go to the body and just make a form a form not a forum and uh, end the form and we go ahead and put an input in here of type uh, button and uh, we can just call the value uh, the value can just say click me and we can go ahead and say on click so we're using the on click event handler so on click what we want to happen we just want to call our function make awesome so let's go ahead and uh, we'll cut that out of there and we'll put it down here rather and now when we go ahead and save this and then uh, r refresh this in Firefox so we can go back and just click refresh you can see we've now got this button on our, our screen and when I go ahead and I click it you can see we've called our function again that that prints out or alerts out you are awesome okay so let's go ahead and uh, just click that so that's pretty much all I have for you guys in this tutorial and uh, don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like my videos please leave a comment and just let me know if this was helpful and uh, yeah guys don't forget to check out the next video where I will explain what parameters are so get psyched and I will see you then